Hey there, this is Sean Falconer with Skyflow. In this video, I'm going to walk you through registering with Skyflow Studio and then using the studio to create and manage a data privacy vault. Let's go ahead and get started. You should have received an email that looks something like this. Go ahead and click on the sign up link. You'll be taken to a registration page where you can fill in your name and choose a password. Once you agree to the terms and the privacy policy, click continue and your account will be created and you'll log into Skyflow Studio. You should see something that looks similar to this page. There's helpful links on the left hand side to guides that will walk you through how to start with the studio and our APIs. Let's start by creating a vault. Under the create vault button, there are three options. Create a vault from scratch, from an existing schema, or from a template. Let's go and start by using the template option. The templates are pre-built schemas for common scenarios. For example, if you're looking to store payment information, then we provide an out-of-the-box template that helps you get started. The payment template has tables defined for consumers, bank accounts, credit cards, transactions, and so on, along with columns and relationships that encapsulate all the standard PII and PCI you'd likely want to capture. You can modify the schema to suit your needs, like remove columns or tables that don't fit your use case, but the template is a fast way to get started. The PII template is equivalent to a user's or customer's table. It contains all the standard forms of PII you'd likely capture about a customer. Again, you can add or remove columns as you need. The last template we will look at is the customer identity template. This template captures customer data, contacts, and organizations, and the relationship between these various identities. If at any point you want to use these templates, it's as simple as clicking the Create Vault button. For the purposes of this demo, we're going to use the Quick Start Vault. The Quick Start Vault is designed for helping you get started with learning how to use Skyflow. The vault not only has an existing schema, but contains fake data that you can play with. The vault has two tables, credit cards and persons. The credit card table has standard credit card data, while the persons table has information about customer data. The data you see in the table is based on how the privacy controls for each column is set up. For example, if you go back to the credit card table and look at the cardholder name, in the current view, the information is redacted. If you open the column view and click on the redaction tab, you see that it is set to redacted, so you don't see the plain text when you look at the table information. You can only see plain text if you have been given permissions to view the column's raw data. But for something like card number, the redaction is set to mass, so you see the last four digits of the card number. Skyfall uses a zero trust model, so you only see these columns in the data if you've been granted access. Right now, I'm logged in as the vault owner so I can see everything. If you go back to the person's table, name and email are redacted, social security number and date of birth are masked, and the state is plain text. The default view for the data can be modified at any point depending on your use case. From within the studio, you can run SQL queries against the encrypted data. For example, try entering select star from persons where the state equals Arizona. The query is executed and the results for only the people in Arizona are returned without the data ever being decrypted. Let's go back to the default view and try adjusting the schema. You can enter the edit mode for schema by going up to the gear icon and clicking on the edit schema option. You can add a column by clicking on new column. A column can have a basic data type like strings, integers, booleans, just like a regular database column. But we also support over 50 different built-in privacy data types that cover most of the common types of sensitive user data you would likely store. This is data like zip codes, credit card information, coordinates, age, driver's license number, and so on. Let's add a zip code. The built-in data type already sets the column name, the basic data type is a string, and there's a preset description. Across the top are the privacy and security controls. Under redaction, the default setting is redacted, but you can change this to something else depending on what you need. The data is encrypted at rest and during transit, as well as for operations like string matching. Zip codes are also tokenized using a deterministic UUID. Once you click Create Column, the column is added to the schema. But before publishing the new schema, let's add one more column, this time for country. By default, the country column is configured as an enum. Data will be plain text. Data in the column is fully encrypted and tokenized using a UUID. All right, so both columns have been added. You just need to publish the schema. This takes a few seconds, but once complete, the new schema and columns are available. You can edit a record in place by clicking on the expand icon 
and using the built-in row editor. Go ahead and add in zip code and select the United States as the country. Click Save and the record is updated. After saving the record, the new data is immediately available. If you scroll down to the bottom, you should see the updated record. You can of course do all of these data manipulation operations and queries through our APIs and SDKs as well. Thanks so much for watching this quick introduction to registering with Skyflow Studio and creating and managing vaults. You can watch more training videos like this on our YouTube page. And if you want to learn more about integrating with Skyflow, check out our developer documentation at docs.skyflow.com.